Right, so we've got second inform Deli Alley. Now, the first inform, if I remember correctly, I remember saying that he doesn't feel like that much of an upgrade on his non inform. However, these second informs add a little bit of a bigger upgrade. You know, he's got a bit more pace. You know, obviously, his shooting's gone up by like three, I think. His dribbling's gone up a little bit. So, yeah, he's had a little bit of a bigger upgrade than what his first inform did from his non inform. He is a bit pricey, though. I think 240k is pretty expensive for this Deli Alley card. Considering what you get, six foot two, yeah, fair enough, good stuff. High medium work rates, that's good. Four star skill moves, which is even better. But I don't know. I looking at his card stats and then look, and also looking at his in game stats for someone who's a cam. I uh, he's only got eighty pace, you know. I don't really, I'm not really sure if two hundred and forty k. Like if this guy was in a different league, say this guy was in the Syria. I, I don't think he I don't think he'd be more than 100k if I'm honest. So that's the way I look at it sometimes with players. Obviously, Premier League players are always more expensive. In game stats wise, he looks really really good. You could play him at centre mid, I think, with 72 interceptions and you know his stamina, his strength, his aggression, stuff like that. I think you'd be able to play him at centre mid. His passing stats aren't as bad as what you when you look at his card stats, 82 passing, it's kind of low. But then you look at his in game passing stats and. They're actually pretty high. 88 visions, good. 88 shot passing is really, really good. You know, 80 pass, 80 long passing as well is also pretty good. His in-game shooting stats are pretty nice as well. Let's just stop rambling on anyway. Let's get into a game. Here are the custom tactics, as you can see. They have not changed from the last video. And player instructions, I'm not changing formation. So, player instructions, game behind, press back line on the front two. Stay forward on the cam. Stay back while attacking on the center, center mid. Everything else is unbalanced, honestly. You don't change anything else. Let's get into a game. Let's go. Let's see what team this guy has for the first game. It's not... Yeah, that's not too bad. That's 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 a decent first team to come up against. I, what, what is this guy going to do? This guy has got a lot of pace everywhere. What is... Is he going to keep this formation in game? He's, he's got no de like no defensive midfielder at all. Deli Ali, come on. There we go. This is going to be a tough game, guys. He's literally just overloaded. He's just charging at me. He's got pace everywhere. Charging at me at full speed with, like, three players at once. And he's just overloading me in attack. I just... I'm struggling so much. Huh? What happened? I, I, I actually have no idea what the hell happened there. I know I pressed B to tackle him, but I thought the ball had already gone. I want to I wanna see... Oh, it doesn't, I hate when people skip replays for penalties. At least we saved the pen. At least we saved the pen. That's all that matters. No, no, no. Two penalties already. I just can't stop him. I can't stop him. He's good in attack. He's overloading me in attack. I just can't. It's so hard to, to, to stop. I, I hope he goes the same way. I'm going to go the same way. I'm hoping he goes the same way as well. Let's see. Ah, nah. He's gone the other way. Oh, still though, man. Like, just... He's overloading me attack. I just can't stop him. I read that. I I, I read that drag back. I read it. I, I put my player there. He just doesn't let me tackle him. That's it. Come on, Deli Ali. Finish it. Get in there. I have, I've needed him to make those runs. It's the only chance I've got of beating this guy. Because he can't really track the cam. But he's playing really well in defense. So, well, not really playing well in defense. He's just... He's more of, he's just charging at me and he's getting away with it. So, I needed Deli Ali to get that little bit of space and make that run. Deli Ali. Deli Ali. Oh, it doesn't even matter if it's on his weak foot. Come on, let's go. Do you know what? I've actually countered this guy by going attacking myself. I've gone attacking, high press, team press. You know, I've just tried to, tried to match him a little bit and it's worked so far. I'm going to keep it on this, I think. Because it's the only way I'm going to beat him. I, I can't put it on balance because my players don't get far enough forward. And with the way he's charging at me, I need my players to be supporting at all times. So, yeah, I'm going to stick to attacking at the moment. Oh, Deli Ali. Let's go, Deli Ali. He scored three. I think he scored a hat-trick with his weak foot. I'm not even kidding. He's He's been able to shine this game because, like I said, he's, he's covering my striker so well. My cams just need to run forward. I just bit my tongue, by the way. If you're wondering why I sounded a bit strange there. I accidentally bit my tongue. No, not too bad. Don't worry, guys. I'm, I'm fine. Anyway, Deli Ali, he, he just needs to burst forward. That's what I mean. He's covering my strikers, but he's not covering the cam as well. So that's why Deli Ali's been able to do everything this game. You see what I mean? Deli Ali's just been able to do everything this game. He's just not tracking my midfielder. He's just not tracking my cam enough. 
It's as simple as that. It's the only reason that Deli Ali's done every. I think he's got five goals, hasn't he? And I'm pretty sure four of them have been with his left foot. Now, that's, that's freestyle weak foot. He's not been too bad. I would say the 5-2 win. I honestly thought I was going to lose that game. Pure, that guy was a good player. He knows what he's doing and he knows how he wants to play. He, I'm guessing his his way of playing is he's going to score more than you. Like he's, It doesn't matter how if he's going to be bad at defending or whatever. He, he's going to outscore you. That's the way he's going to win the game. And to be fair, it worked. Honestly, it, it was... He was really putting the pressure on me, completely overloaded me in attack. He was always forward. Even his defending was working against me until I figured out that I needed to just put it on attacking and let Deli Ali make the runs forward instead of the striker. Let's see what team this guy has. Man of the match, Werner, Prime Lawson, Prime Rui Costa, and then a, a Bundesliga slash Premier League team around them. It's, it's pretty much, it's, it's almost your typical team, isn't it, really? It, especially the defense, anyway. It's definitely your typical defense, and then he's got Bakayoko in midfield. Okay. Okay. Fair play to you. Deli Ali, let's go. Let's go. This guy's a very good player, by the way. He's, he's overloading me atta in attack again, like... These these players, these two players in this video, I uh, they are just very high press, very high press, overloading me in attack. Really good going forward, in particular, this guy is really causing me problems. But Deli Ali with the strike, that's a good strike as well. Good finish. Oh, Mbappe, finish it. Let's go, Mbappe. Heel to heel flick, OP, get in there. That's it, Mbappe. Through to Deli Ali, that's a great layoff and that's a great finish and a great run from Deli Ali. I just I saw him in the corner of like the screen. I was like, Joe, you know he's making a decent decent run here. If I can just lay it off to him, just tap it into his path. And it's exactly what I did. That was that's what a layoff that is. I think that's Mbappe, isn't it? What a what a pass. Oh no, we, as if he's getting bailed out by that. Really? And that's a GG. Oh my god, he does not deserve to be in this. Everything is going in this guy's favour. Every single thing since he equalised. Didn't even deserve to equalise. Definitely doesn't deserve to be beating me, but whatever. He's a good player. I'm trying not to... Try to cut down on the complaining, but Jesus Christ, it's so obvious. When the game is just... He just, I don't know, he just swings. He's just swung in his favour. Lost 4-3, you can't win them all. That guy was, uh, he was a decent player, but I don't know. He just felt like he was getting lucky sometimes, you know what I mean? Like when, when someone charges at you, when they play that kind of style where they charge at you with like three players and then they leave a massive gap in behind and you will try to play the pass into that gap and they will get like, either the pass will be terrible or they will get like a lucky interception with one of their players that should be nowhere near the ball. Yeah, let's get into our last final game, I guess. Let's go. Let's see what team this guy has. Premier League team with first in form Callum Wilson. Team of Guru Stage Firmino. Second in form Jesse Lingard. To be fair, I'm surprised he's only got the Team of the Group Stage Firmino and first in form Callum Wilson. Because I'm pretty sure the higher versions really aren't that much more expensive to get. But fair enough, maybe he just can't afford it, which is, you know, unfortunate. Mbappe, beautiful turn. That's fantastic from Deli Ali. Can he finish it? Oh, he's hit the post. That's a, that's a lucky, really. It, it was a hard angle to score from, but still, did kind of expect him to finish that. It's a pity he's hit the post. Oh, that's it. Drag back. Beautiful finesse. Jamie Vardy. Do you know what? Deli Ali likes creating rebounds, doesn't he, for other players? I've, I've, I've figured it out. That's, that's his purpose. He will create havoc. And he will create rebounds and opportunities for other players. That's it. Beautiful to Deli Alley. Great layoff and a great finish as well from Deli Alley. Jamie Vardy with the cheeky little back heel to lay it off to Deli Alley. Fantastic. Are we going to get a rage quit? This is the final game regardless, guys, even if this guy rage quits. Let's have a look. Is he going to rage quit? It was nice. There we go. We got ourselves a rage quit. How many goals did Deli Alley get? Only one. I thought, oh yeah, to be fair, we scored three. Yeah, Mbappe, Vardy, Deli Alli. How many assists did he get? One. Not too bad. So, Deli Alli. Now, 
I have I have a few things that I just don't like about him, and it's first of all I don't think he's quick enough. He feels a little bit sluggish when he's when he's running through on goal, but he, he has the power to to be able to get through on goal. Uh, that's one of the things anyway. He feels a little sluggish, feels a little slow. He still feels 80 pace, but sometimes 80 pace isn't enough for a cam, even though I'm pretty sure I said that Luis Alberto with 80 pace was good enough for a cam. But then again, he didn't re feel very sluggish, if I'm honest. He felt pretty quick off the mark. So, Deli Ali, yeah, he, he does feel a little slow sometimes. And drilling wise, he does feel a little clunky. Like, only a little bit, not massively, but with cams, you need him to be able to. You need him to be agile on this game, uh, and he's not that, but he does make up with it with strength and aggression. He, he's like a bulldozer, honestly, he's like a bulldozer, he, he just powers through on goal. But when you're playing with a cam, you want him to be agile, you want him to be nimble, you want him to be quick. You know, you want him to be able to, to do everything really, really fast, because that's what cams are, are best at on, on this game. If you've got a cam like that, you, you're more than likely going to do better with him, but... This Deli Ali, I'm not saying it's a bad card, it's just that's a few things that I don't like about him. But in terms of his shooting, you know, his positioning, his finishing, his shooting in general is absolutely superb. It really is. His positioning in particular, he gets into some really, really nice positions. He really does. He makes nice runs in behind and he's always getting forward. So, in terms of positioning, I have no problems at all with it. Passing-wise, again, I actually found it pretty decent. He did give the ball away sometimes when the pass was a little too far, you know. But that's to be expected because he doesn't have the best long passing. 80 long passing is it's okay, but it's not it's not great. Quadrado had 75, I think. And to be fair, I didn't really play many long passes with Quadrado in the last video. So, but this this Deli Ali, when I did try to play a long pass, he seemed to give it away. His first touch and his dribbling is fantastic. It's just like I said, sometimes he feels a little clunky. So apart from that, honestly, this card is a very good all-round card. Like I said. A power screw on goal, his aggression and his strength you can definitely feel in midfield when you're playing him at cam. He can hold it up a little bit in cam position and normally cams can't do that because normally they're not big and strong like Deli Alley. But yeah, this guy's a bit of a different one. I would say his best position would be centre mid, if I'm honest. He, he was tracking back, well when I was tracking back manually sorry, with him, he was intercepting the ball very very well and he was putting in some nice tackles. So. Honestly, I think this Deli Ali would be perfect for centre mid as your attacking centre mid. He would provide, yeah, he'd just provide that power, you know, that finishing ability when you get through on goal with your centre mids. And just his dribbling in general, you'd be able to just power through midfield with him and run past midfielders, I think, with him. So, yeah, I do think he'd be best suited to centre mid. Smash that thumbs up button, subscribe if you're new, Twitter, sorry, down below in the description. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.